One of the first hurdles for budding guitar players is being able to switch chords smoothly. Use this technique I'm going to show you to progressively change chords faster and smoother. Hi, I'm Thomas Michaud from Real Guitar Success. Here's how the guitar chord switching game works. We're going to start out by choosing two chords. Now, I'd like to get the most bang for bucks, so I'm going to pick two chords that we switch between often. We're going to use for this example the D chord and the four finger G chord. We switch often between these two chords, and I know some people have a hard time getting from one to the other. The game consists of three rounds and then one option round. I'll explain that in a little bit. So we're going to start with the first round. Take a look at this diagram, and I'm going to explain it first. We'll go through an example, and I'll show you how it works. The idea is to strum the chord on the first beat, and then you have three more beats to change. In other words, during the three beats, you're going to be changing chords. You've got a fair amount of time. Then we're going to strum on the first beat of the next measure. I'll show you what I mean. I've got my metronome here, and I'm going to start pretty slow. Looks like 40 beats per minute. Now I'm going to count four beats to start. Then when I come around to the one again, that's where I'll strum the D. I'll show you. One, two, three, four. Now here comes the D. One. And now I'm going to change two, three, four, and be ready on G for one, two, three, four, one, two, I'm changing three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I just did four measures. Of course, you're going to do this more than four measures. Practice it enough so you're confident you can change at this slow tempo with that many beats to change. Because in the next round, we're going to pick things up a little bit. Before I go on to the next round, I'm going to give you a little chance to practice. Get ready to count four beats and then strum the D chord. One, two, ready, strum. So how did you do? Don't worry if you didn't get perfect. I mean, what kind of game would this be if, if everybody got it perfect the first time around? You can always go back and practice. And if you did get it perfect, you probably need to up the tempo a little bit, make it more challenging. I'm going to move on to the next round. So wherever you are, you can see how the whole thing goes. Now we're going to do the exact same thing. As you can see from the graphic, the only change is now you're going to strum the D chord twice instead of once. But that means, since there's only four beats, you have less time to switch chords. So I'll give you an idea with the metronome again. Let me start. I'll count to four. Here we go. Two, three, four. Now on one, I play the D. One, and then two. Three, four is where I change the G. One, two, three, four, and then change. <laughs> I should have started moving sooner, but I was talking. <laughs> Four, that was better. One, two, and of course you're gonna keep going so you wanna go back to the D, but we'll stop here. Okay, hopefully at this point, you're seeing where this is going. We're basically shortening the amount of time you have to switch chords and encouraging your mind to kind of start looking ahead where you're gonna go. I've got another little clip so you can practice along with two strums. And again, just give it your best shot Consider it a run-through just to get kind of how this goes. You can always go back and practice later. One, two, ready, play. Switch. 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 Okay, we're going to go on to the third round. This time, you're going to strum the chord three times, and you have one beat to change. I'll show you. 
Let's get that metronome again. Two, three, four. Now three Ds. One, two, three, and then switch on four. One, two, three. Switch four. One, two, three. Switch and one, two, three, and switch and so on. So I'm going to give you another chance to practice this one. And again, just give it a run through to kind of see how it goes and don't worry whether you get it perfect or not. Ready, play. Switch. Switch. So if you've come this far, you've done great. And as a matter of fact, for a lot of people, this is enough. We're going to do the fourth round. I call this optional because if you're in the early stages of switching chords, the fourth round can be fairly challenging. One way to handle this is to just do a number of transitions doing rounds one, two, three. And then once you've got that under your belt, come back to round four and try to go back and tighten them up to round four. Round four gives you just like a half of a bead to change chords. You'll see one day it'll be pretty easy. You naturally switch chords just a little before it's time to change. But for now, it might be a bit of a challenge. So whether or not you decide to do it now or later, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how it works and then give you a chance to practice. My metronome, one, two, three, four. Watch this, D, one, four times, two, three, Four and change. One, two, three, four and change. One, two, three, four and change. One. I'm changing on the half beat, the four, four and back to D and so on. Okay, here's a clip that you can practice along with. Ready? Play. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this helpful, download my ebook, The Seven Keys to Switching Chords Quickly, Easily, and Smoothly. It includes a step by step written version of this exercise, along with six other principles, graphics, and step by step exercises. This ebook is the result of years of studying and teaching people how to switch chords easily and smoothly. It really doesn't have to be that hard. Oh, did I mention there's no charge? I just ask that you put it into practice and spend some time with it. Click the link in the description. I'll ask for your name and email and you'll have access to it immediately. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.